Welcome to the Family Law Resource Center. We are located at 5105 Paulson Street, Suite 111A, between 67th and 68th in Savannah, Georgia. What does the Family Law Resource Center do? The Family Law Resource Center provides forms, education, and information to pro se litigants. What does pro se mean? Pro se means you do not have an attorney. The Family Law Resource Center provides services for divorce, legitimation, modification, contempt, child support, and adult name change. If you would like to make an appointment, please go to our website at mediationsavannah.com. What does the Family Law Resource Center do? The Family Law Resource Center provides forms, education, and information to pro se litigants. What does pro se mean? Pro se means you are proceeding without an attorney. The Family Law Resource Center provides services for divorce, legitimation, modification, contempt, child support, and adult name change. If you would like the Family Law Resource Center cannot give you legal advice, cannot provide you with an attorney, cannot file your documents for you, and cannot go to court with you. OCGA section 15-19-51 prohibits court personnel, including the judge's administrators, staff attorneys, law clerks, the clerk's office staff, and the sheriff's department from giving legal advice or answering legal questions. Don't worry, the Family Law Resource Center is here to help. Make an appointment, mediationsavannah.com. What if you need legal advice? Call an attorney. The Family Law Resource Center has a list of local family law attorneys. Ask around. Family and friends are a great resource. When you go to your meeting, be prepared. Prepare a checklist so you can make sure that you have all your questions answered at the meeting. I need a divorce. What do I do first? Step 1. Fill out your documents. The Family Law Resource Center will provide you with court-approved forms. You will fill out the documents on our computers and we will guide and educate you along the way. We will review each page and check to make sure you have filled them out correctly and completely. The Family Law Resource Center does not verify the information you put on the forms. You are responsible for the content on the forms, meaning you are responsible for putting your correct income on the form. Is your divorce uncontested or contested? In an uncontested divorce, you agree on everything. This is the quickest and easiest way to divorce. In an uncontested divorce, you are in control. You and your spouse decide how you will divide your assets and debts and sign a separation agreement. If you have children together, you and your spouse will sign a parenting plan, which will set forth how you will share custody and visitation. You will also sign a child support addendum. You can get a final divorce hearing 31 days after you file the acknowledgement of service. Contested divorce, you do not agree. This is the longer and more expensive way to divorce. You must first attend mediation before you can have a final divorce hearing. If you did not settle at mediation, you will have a final contested trial in front of a judge who will decide your case. Preparing your documents at the Family Law Resource Center. How long will it take to fill out my documents? A divorce with no children, about one hour. A divorce with children and child support order is in place, one to two hours. 
a divorce with children and child support needs to be determined two to three hours. Terms you will see in your complaint for divorce. Plaintiff, you, the person bringing the action. Defendant, your spouse, the person answering the action. Date of separation, the date you and your spouse had the divorce conversation and stopped having marital relations. You can still live in the same house and be separated. You must include the month, day, and year. Transitional Parenting Seminar. The Transitional Parenting Seminar is a mandatory four-hour class that both parties must attend before a final hearing. You do not need to attend together. The class is offered two times per month, on the third Wednesday from 1 to 5 and on the fourth Saturday from 9 to 1. Be on time. You can't attend if you arrive late. Where is the class? The class is held at the Mediation Center, 5105 Paulson Street. It is $50 and you pay upon arrival. Do children attend? No. And there is no daycare available. How do you sign up? Go on our website, mediationsavannah.com. Or if you're preparing documents at the Family Law Resource Center, you will sign up for the class during your appointment. Where do you file? This can be a difficult question to answer sometimes. Jurisdiction and venue. Number one, you must have subject matter jurisdiction. That means the plaintiff, the person bringing the action, must have a valid marriage and have lived in Georgia for six months before filing the complaint for divorce. Number two, personal jurisdiction requires valid service of the summons and complaint upon the defendant by a sheriff or private process server. Number three, venue. This is the county where the defendant lives, unless otherwise agreed to by both parties. In an uncontested divorce, the defendant can sign an acknowledgement of service and consent to jurisdiction. Have more questions? Not sure where to file? Consult an attorney. Financial Affidavit. What is the Financial Affidavit? The Financial Affidavit is your monthly budget. It requires you to fill in information regarding your income, debts, assets, and household bills. The Affidavit includes your information only, not your spouse's. Terms that you will see on the Affidavit. Affiant. You. The person filling out the Affidavit. Gross Income. Your income before taxes. Net income. Your take home income after taxes. What do I bring to my appointment? You need to bring the last two years of tax returns and your most recent paycheck stubs for at least one month. You need these documents so you can properly fill out the income portion of your financial affidavit. The paycheck stubs will also help you fill out the budget portion. The budget portion requires you to fill in costs for health insurance, dental and vision insurance, life insurance, and retirement contributions. The Family Law Resource Center does not verify your income. You are responsible for your numbers. For a complete list of documents to bring to your appointment, visit our website, mediationsavannah.com. Do I have to fill it out? Yes. Rule 24.2 requires you to fill it out and file it with your divorce if you are seeking child support, alimony, or equitable division of property. Standing order for production of documents. The standing order is part of the contested divorce packet. The standing order requires that five days before mediation, a temporary or a final hearing, the parties exchange financial information and documents. You are to provide the other party with your financial affidavit, tax returns, both personal and business, paycheck stubs, all loan statements, most recent retirement statements, 
the last two statements of any debts, including your mortgage and any and all credit cards, and child support orders. When you exchange these documents with the other party, you are better able to resolve your differences at mediation, as both parties will come prepared. Parenting Plan The Parenting Plan is an 11-page document where you will set forth a specific custody, visitation, and holiday schedule. Be specific. Set forth pickup times and days, such as Friday at 6 p.m. until Sunday at 6 p.m. You can agree to anything not set forth in the parenting plan, but if you don't agree in the future, then you follow the terms of the parenting plan. Do not say, as agreed upon, or upon 24 hours notice, as this language is too vague and cannot be enforced. Custody. There are two types of custody legal custody and physical custody. Legal custody is decision making. You can choose joint, mother, or father. If you choose joint, there are four major decisions to discuss. Education, medical, religion, and extracurricular. Parents are to consult and confer regarding decisions about their children. If they are unable to agree on a decision, then a tiebreaker must be named. The tiebreaker can only be mother or father. You must choose one. Physical custody is where the children live. You can choose joint, mother, or father. Joint custody means the parents share the children approximately 50-50. Visitation and Holiday Schedules Weekend Visitation You need to set forth specific times for pickup and drop-off, such as Friday at 6 p.m. till Sunday at 6 p.m. Holidays Christmas and Thanksgiving You need to specifically set forth how you want to share your Christmas and Thanksgiving holidays. You can alternate between even and odd years, such as mom has even years and dad has odd years. Summer schedule. Again, be specific. You can share the summer holiday, such as mom gets June and dad gets July, and you can alternate in even and odd years. The parenting plan is your parenting plan, so you need to do what works best for your family. Child Support Worksheets and Addendum If there are children involved in the divorce, child support worksheets must be completed. Child support is the right of the child. Parents can't waive child support. When you fill out the worksheets, you must put the gross income for each parent. Remember, gross is before taxes are taken out. You also need to bring other documents to help you fill out the worksheets, such as health insurance cost, vision and dental, life insurance, daycare, private school expenses. Not sure what deviations to use? Need legal advice? Consult an attorney. The FLRC will not give you legal advice. Once you have finished filling out your documents at the Family Law Resource Center, we will sit down with you and go through our checklist. We will check to make sure each document is complete. Then you will sign them and we will notarize. Then you will receive our purple stamp. This certifies that your packet is complete. You will receive two copies and step-by-step -step instructions on what to do once you leave our center. Next. File your documents. Step 2. File your documents. 
Where do you file? You will go to the Chatham County Courthouse located at 133 Montgomery Street, Superior Court Clerk on the third floor. How much does it cost to file? It costs $215 to file your complaint for divorce. The service fee, if served by the sheriff, is $50. When you file, you will receive a card with a civil action number and the judge assigned to your case. Step 3. Service. You must serve your spouse. You will be stuck in the starting gate until you get your spouse served. How much is it? It's $50 if you use the sheriff and you get two attempts. You need to provide the sheriff with a good address, either home or work. Also include a time of day. If you think your spouse will avoid service, use a private process server. The Family Law Resource Center has a list of private process servers in the area. Prices vary. If you have an uncontested divorce, your spouse will sign an acknowledgement of service, and this is free. What if you can't find your spouse? Then you can serve by publication. It costs $85 to run it in the paper. Beware. This is the worst form of service. The court can only grant a divorce and divide property in Georgia. Alimony and child support cannot be decided. You will fill out an affidavit swearing to the efforts you use to find your spouse. If you have their cell phone, you need to call and text them and ask for their address. Print out the texts and bring them to court. Use social media. Contact family, friends, and past employers to try to find their address. Answer and counterclaim. If you've been served with a complaint for divorce, you have 30 days to file an answer and counterclaim. If you've been served by publication, you have 60 days to file an answer and counterclaim. If you've signed an acknowledgement of service, you do not need to file an answer. When you come to the Family Law Resource Center, bring the complaint for divorce that you were served with. You will answer each number paragraph. The counterclaim is what you are asking for. Step 4. Mediation. What is mediation? Mediation is a confidential process where you will meet with a trained neutral who will help you and your spouse try and resolve your disputes. You will receive an order to mediate in the mail. Read it thoroughly and follow the instructions. You have 10 days to call in and schedule your mediation. The order also sets forth a show cause date. If you fail to call the mediation center and give the dates that you are available to mediate, you are required to appear before the judge and tell him or her why you have not followed the order. Do you have to settle? No, but you are required to make a good faith effort. What do I bring to mediation? You need to bring your financial affidavit, your response to the standing order for production of documents, and all the documents you have filed. The cost for mediation at the mediation center is $250 per party. Step 5. Getting a court date. When you finish your mediation, the Mediation Center will give you directions on what to do when you leave and how to get your final hearing date. Step 6. Final divorce hearing for an uncontested divorce, meaning the parties agree and all documents have been signed. Who needs to be there? The plaintiff, the person bringing the action, must be there. The defendant does not have to attend. What do I do at the hearing? The Family Law Resource Center will provide you with a list of questions the judge will ask you, so you come to the hearing prepared. Your hearing will only take a few minutes. What happens next? 
The judge will sign the final judgment and decree of divorce at the hearing, and you can get a copy of it on the third floor at the Superior Court Clerk's Office. Remember, turn off your cell phones. Final Divorce Hearing in Contested Actions The judge will hear the evidence and decide the case. What do I bring? You will need to bring evidence and witnesses to the trial. Evidence must be in a paper form so the judge can see it. Witnesses must be live to be able to testify. They cannot testify by phone. What is evidence? Evidence is your proof. What do I bring? You can bring pictures, texts, and emails, social media, phone records, school records and daycare records, paychecks, tax returns, payment records, debts such as credit cards, mortgage notes, and car notes, title to the car, deeds to your home, mortgage note or rental contract, and the bills for your home such as electric, gas, or phone. These need to be in paper format. One copy for you, one copy for the other side, and one copy for the judge. If you would like to fill out paperwork at the Family Law Resource Center, you can make an appointment on our website, mediationsavannah.com. You will receive a confirmation email setting forth the time and date of your appointment. You will also receive a reminder email 24 hours before your appointment. Please check your emails. You can cancel or reschedule through that email. You will also receive a reminder text 48 hours before your appointment. There are no drop-ins. It is $40 per party. Please visit the appointment page to see what documents you need to bring to your appointment. Have more questions? Check out our Frequently Asked Questions page. Thank you.